Hey everyone, I wanna have a little fun today. I wanna to be able to take and show you exactly how to divide a circle into three, six, 12, and 24 different parts. Now to be able to do this, I'm only using a straight edge to be able to draw the lines, and I'm using a compass to be able to divide the circle. Now, if you like this kind of video, I'll do another video where I take us and divide a circle into some other parts. For an example, five, seven, nine, and so on. So let me know if you like this video. If you do, hit the like button down below. And by the way, while you're there, go ahead and subscribe and hit the bell notification. Now, I'm not going to do a follow-up video if I don't get the likes. So it's all up to you if you want to see a follow-up video. Let's get started. I'm going to show you exactly how to start out. We're going to make a circle with three equal parts, and then we'll go from there. Now, all I'm going to do is use the compass, and I'm going to start out and make a circle right here in approximately the center of the page. So that gives me my circle, and without changing anything, I'm going to start right up here at the top and I'm going to make a little reference mark on each side. And then I'm going to go right over to this point and I'm going to draw a line here and here. And I'll do the same thing. So that gives me actually six different points. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Let me connect the lines and I'll show you how I divide the circle in the first three and then six parts. So what I'm gonna do is find the center right there where the compass made the arc. And I'm gonna draw one line right up to that point. And I'll do the same thing over here. And then the last line that I'm gonna draw is right here. And that gives me three equal parts. They're 120 degrees separated. So now if I want to make this into a six, all I need to do is connect these other three points. So now that divides the circle into six parts. The next thing I'm going to do is divide these into half. And I'm going to change this. And I'm going to start right here. Now it doesn't matter as long as I'm beyond the halfway point. So I can make a mark right here. And I'll make a little arc right there. And by doing that, that bisects this distance into two equal points. Now that will bisect this into two different equal areas. So now I can take the pencil and draw this straight through. I'll do the same thing over here. I'll create an arc out here. Same thing right there.
So you can see this process is not a complicated process. And we'll do the last one. I'll just do it right, whoops. We'll do the last one right here. And right there. Make sure that's lined up and we'll draw that all the way across. So we went from three to six and now this is 12. So how are we gonna do 24? Well, we'll take this distance right here and we'll create another bicep of this angle and we'll do the same thing again to be able to get to 24. And when you set up the compass, as long as you're over the halfway point, it will work. So that's over halfway. So I'll make an arc right there. Same thing. I'll put my compass right there on that point. And make that arc. And I'll connect the dots again. From this arc through the center to the other side. I'm drawing the diameter all the way across. So we'll repeat this process now. I don't need to change the compass at all. I'm going to put it right there on that point. Create the arc. There we go. And we'll do that again. We'll see if I can get a little bit more control of my compass. There we are. And I'll do the same thing with this one. And I might as well mark these over here. And we'll make the last one. And now all we need to do is go from the center point to the arc that we had made. And that bisects that section. And that will create my 24 points. Put my pencil down right there first. Line that up. Bring it over to the center of the circle and draw my line. I have one remaining. Put my pencil down right there on the point. Go to the center. And now I have a circle that's divided into 24 equal sections. So we went from 3 to 6 to 12 and to 24. We could take this even further and divide each of these sections and divide that in half. And the next one would be 48. But I think you see the idea and just how easy that it is. Oftentimes, when you're doing a project in your shop, you need to be able to divide that circle into various parts. Well, this is a simple, easy way to be able to divide a circle into three, six, uh, 12, and 24 different parts. And of course, if you needed smaller segments, you could go even further because the next one by bisecting those individual sections would be 48 and you could continue on as many as you wanted. 
Now, as I said in the beginning of this short video, I would do some other different sections, whether it would be four, five, you know, nine, whatever that you want to see, let me know in the comments below and I'll do a short video on how to divide the circle into whatever different components that you want. So thanks a lot for watching this real short video and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. But right now, by the way, please go ahead and like the video, subscribe right down below. Don't forget to hit the bell notification and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye everyone.